today we will be making some Sankos. And these Sankos look just like you would uh, get them at a store. They are very easy to make and they're cheap too. Alright, to make this project you're going to need uh, these simple things that you can find around your house. Uh, this right here is an oven mitt or pot holder, uh, food coloring, a microwavable safe glass like a measuring cup. You're going to need a disposable cup, a knife, a disposable utensil. You're going to need 28 Lego blocks, a Lego uh, board, a knife. This is an exacto knife, but a pocket knife will work. Old lures that you don't want to use anymore. Uh, you're going to need some scissors. Glitter is optional, uh, just to make the lure a little bit more sparkly. Then here are the Sankos or stick baits, worm lures. Uh, they're right there. All you need is one. You don't need to get a whole thing, but you can't buy those separately. You're going to need all-purpose 100% silicone. It looks just like that. All-purpose 100% silicone. Make sure it's the number one silicone. A skewer and one of these dispensing guns. So, let's get to it. Alright, so now for this step, what you're going to need is you're going to need the Lego blocks and the Lego board. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put one down in the middle, put one against the side, and then another one against the other side. And you're going to want to build this down till it's six uh, six across, and then you're going to put one more in the middle, and then six across on this side, and that's it. Okay, so now since you've done that, now what you're going to want to do is you want to get the Legos, and you're going to make a, one more layer. And you're going to want to put the Legos on the cracks where the two split. That way, uh, it'll be harder for the silicone to get out of the mold. Alright, now since you finished your mold, it should be two blocks high, six across. Uh, you have your disposable stuff, your utensil and cup, uh, food coloring, and the silicone. Now, the silicone, uh, you're going to want to put 10 to 12 pumps in there, like that, and... Uh, so, but first, before you do that, put a generous about amount of food coloring in. So, about that much. Uh, it, you could put more, you could put less, it's just however much you want. Now what you're going to want to do is get your silicone, and you're just going to want to put uh, a lot of the silicone in. So, about that much silicone, and stir this up. So, I'll get back to you. Alright, now since you have your silicone, uh, it should be all the same color. But you wanted to do this step fast, because it cures in about 15 minutes. But, now what we're going to do is we're going to put it into here, and put the Sanko in, and let it dry. Alright, so... Now all you want to do is put the silicone stuff into the mold thing. So just like that. And you want to make sure that there's no air bubbles trapped. But just put all this. Alright, so now you have your worm you're going to want to put it right in the middle try to center it and you can use gloves 
but I didn't have any gloves, so I'm just using my fingers. You just want to stick it in, not too far, but like enough. Just enough where it's covered over by the silicone, maybe just a little bit. And once it's under, make sure it's all level, and then you can put silicone back on top of it and flatten it, the silicone out. Just like that, and now we let that dry. So, see, we let that dry for about 15 minutes. So whenever the 15 minutes is up, I'll show you guys. Now since the mold has finished curing, all you have to do is uh, you can cut all of this excess silicone off and it will peel off hopefully all in one piece. It's been about 15 minutes so all you have to do is get a knife and cut that off and it'll peel right off. It might be hard getting around the Lego blocks, but the le Lego like See? Peels right off. And it's pretty easy. So once that's finished, uh, once I get finished peeling this off, I'll get back to you. Alright, so now I've cut everything off. Now we can take it out of the mold. It will stick a little bit to the platform, but it should be pretty easy. Like, you just gotta tear all these Lego pieces off. It might take a while, but just start tearing the Lego pieces off. Alright, so now we have taken the Legos off of the mold. What you want to do is you'll be able to see the worm inside of the silicone and you just want to cut right down that worm and you don't have to cut super deep so you just want to cut like that and open it up and there's your worm and it gives you a nice place where you can pour molten plastic now this Senko right here can totally be reused there's nothing wrong with it Okay, now since you have your cut up lures, you're going to want to put it in the microwave. And you're want, going to want to put it in the microwave for one minute. Alright, now since that has been in for a minute you want to get your uh, holders and you want to get a, a wooden stirring utensil because if you use plastic it will actually melt but you want to stir this around just for a little bit it's not going to be melted yet because this is a big load and you're going to want to put a little bit of glitter if you want if you want glitter you put it in if you don't then you don't have to but just put a bunch of glitter just like that and stir it around just a little bit put it back in the microwave for this is a big load so probably about 45 seconds That's the 45 seconds. You can see it's starting to be liquid, but it's not there yet, so. Stir it some more, I guess. I would have thought it would be done by now, but this is a pretty big load. So just stir it. Put it back in. 
for 30 seconds. All right, now it is done for sure. And it's all liquidy. Uh, the smoke or stuff you see coming off of it, I don't think it's too good for you. So you probably don't want to breathe it. But I'm not sure about that. Now, we're going to pour it in the molds. So let's do that. And now I'm gonna have my brother help me on this mold and he's gonna open it up for me. So, just like that. And this is if you have help. If you don't have help, the other one will be the way to go. But you just wanna pour this in there, like that. And then you close it up and let it sit. As you can see, there's a little bit of leftover plastic right there, but that's easy to take off. Now, as you can see, there's what looks like a Senko. Now what you can do is, all you have to do is pull that or cut it off. It depends, whatever you want to do. And just like that, you have a Senko. Now, get your scissors, and then there's just that little super thin, or just peel it off and right there as you can see it's a perfectly good Sanka look at that all right and for the measuring cup as you can see that's all the melted plastic all you have to do is just take this and it pulls right out and as you can see that glass is pretty much clean and here's all of the leftover plastic and you can remelt this so that's pretty cool